Today I'd like to focus on why we all need a valid will and some of the reasons why it's imperative to regularly update your will. Hello, I'm Craig from Stevens & Toza Solicitors and I've been regularly assisting clients with their estate planning arrangements. This can include powers of attorney, simple wills, more complex wills with testamentary trusts, restructuring of your affairs, gifts during a person's lifetime, severing of real estate joint tenancies, binding death benefit superannuation nominations, or advanced health directives. First, let's talk about what happens if you die without a will. Some people believe that if you die without a will, that your belongings will automatically go to the government. This is simply untrue. However, if you do die without a will, your belongings are distributed in, in accordance with the laws of intestacy, which are complicated and may not reflect your wishes. It also increases the risk of litigation, which can be costly to your estate. Now, nobody enjoys contemplating their own mortality. And you may be saying, I'm healthy, I'm still young. However, situations such as accidents or illnesses may occur without notice and could be left incapable of making a will. Now, let's talk about when you need to consider reviewing your will should you already have a will. Examples of life events that should trigger a review of your will may be marriage, civil union, or a de facto relationship, or the opposite, separation or divorce. Uh, a beneficiary may have passed, an executor may have passed, or someone else who you've contemplated in your will may have passed away as well. There could be a change of assets or your personal circumstances such as per buying large property, or simply your testamentary wishes have changed. Now, it may be tempting to write your own will, either from a template downloaded from the internet or a will kit. However, this could be problematic as the laws in each jurisdiction are different and strict as to what constitutes a valid will, meaning your do-it-yourself will may not actually achieve your wishes and it could, could cause difficulties for the court to approve it in future. Other important documents you want, may want to consider with Stevens and Toza are advanced health directives and powers of attorney. These are very important documents that help with your affairs should you not be able to do it yourself while you're alive. An advanced health directive gives instructions to people in your life to make decisions for you in accordance with your wishes for your health. Whereas a power of attorney allows an attorney to make decisions for you when you're not able to do so for yourself. For instance, if you're in an accident or you become incapable of making decisions. Power of attorneys cover things like health decisions, legal decisions and financial decisions. How can you update your will? Simply contact Stevens and Toza solicitors and to discuss your will. Whether you need a new will or you simply need to amend your existing will, we're more than happy to discuss the validity of it. We're only too pleased to assist you with recording your testamentary wishes and ensure that what you want done after your passing is sure and assured, both for yourself and your family. Feel free to call us on 3034 3888 and I and the rest of the team at Stevens and Toza Solicitors will be ready to speak with you about your will or any other estate planning matters. Thank you for your time.